All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Bring STEM Concepts to Life with this new <laughs> remote control challenge. We are excited to have you here to learn about our RC tractor remote control uh tractor pull challenge. And so we're going to just talk a little bit about the challenge and what's involved there today. And then we're going to talk about um, not only the, the tractor pull itself, how STEM is involved. We're also going to kind of give some different training tool ideas and methods. And we're going to talk to a educator who is using it right now and how he has used it. Uh, Mr. Nathan Anderson will be joining us today to talk about the RC Tractor Bull Challenge and what's involved with it. So really excited to have him today and kind of explaining through some of the ways he sees his students using it and how he has used it and implemented it in the classroom. So we're going to start by just diving in and talking about how important STEM education is and how it really fits and ties really nicely right into agriculture education and into CTT, CTE in general. So in this case, one of the things that we're hearing more and more of, and we it's been around for a long time, but this idea of STEM education, also sometimes they call it STEAM um, education if you add art into it as well, but it's this idea of uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. And the whole focus is really getting students to use these different uh, concepts, science, technology, engineering, and math, and getting a good grasp on how it is used and what it could be used in the real world in career education. So not only are we talking about bringing it into your agriculture classroom that brings relevance and understanding to students, but how it ties in with incre increasing class size, gaining more of that uh, core academics, and, and really um, showing how it can help in your uh, world and how students can help. So the RC Tractor Pull Challenge is really a way to implement STEM in your classroom while teaching core concepts that agriculture educators do every day from your egg mechanics world to um, small engines to uh, different um uh, really tractor uh, safety and, and heavy equipment operation, all these things tie in with this idea of our RC tractor pull challenge. And so what our product actually is, is it comes with five different tractors um, and one pulling sled. Now, as you can see from this picture here, these tractors are <coughs> remote controlled. They pair with the tractor, the remote control pairs with the tractor, but it not only have, um, uh, not only has, uh, um, different size wheels, but you also have different uh, gears. So you have pinion and spur gears. You also have weight distribution opportunities to be able to, to put the weight in different places. And then you can take this tractor apart and put it back together, allowing students to interact with it as well. The other side of this is as you look at that, there's multiple variables that students have to start to interact with and be able to understand as they look at ways to do the best kind of challenge of a tractor pull and, and working through what does all that mean? So we hear a lot of times in egg uh, mechanics too about how students need to understand what equilibrium is, what uh, your um, center of gravity is, what your, um, your pulling ratio is, all of these types of things. Well, we brought it down into kind of a, a micro visual and a micro um, uh um, training tool here to allow your students to be able to learn and understand what's going on and then bring those concepts out in the real world and, and have a better understanding within different STEM concepts. So let's talk a little bit about what is involved with this before we get to um, our guest speaker today and just kind of so you can see some of the ins and outs and and hopefully give you an idea of some of our um, ways to, to be teaching um, this uh, idea of a tractable challenge. So in this case, there are a lot of different STEM concepts that can be um, talked through and discussed. One being the scientific process, um, torque and power, uh, there's a lot of it, um, discussion and, and, and really um, engagement when you talk about friction and force, and then things like balance and equilibrium, center of gravity, gear ratios, and also data collection. So our product has five lessons about building and inspecting the tractor, the tractor pull test, so testing out what could be your variables when you actually would do a tractor pull. 
And then from those variables, what is the data telling you? So working with data to understand what the different uh, parts and pieces of the physics of a tractor are. And then working with force and frictions. And then finally, kind of culminating with an actual tractable challenge, a class um, opportunity to bring competition, uh, you know, fun activity into your uh, classroom and into the learning to engage your students. So in this case here, we go with a lot of different scientific type thoughts that really help students to understand what's going on with the tractor as it's actually pulling um, the, the pulling sled. So we go through and talk about Newton's third law. We talk about gravity and normal force, and we finish off with different weight distribution. And what does that actually mean? And, and how does that work with force? How does that work with friction? Um, we go through and we talk about the tires and the gears and what's happening with each one of those and how we can look at those and change them, change those variables to have a more um, kind of uh, outcome that the student and the teacher are looking for. So really looking at those different uh, kind of ways to, to help and understand in that world. Other parts of this are things like our gears and um, understanding what the, the different um, teeth on the spur or the pinion gear, what is that equal? So again, using math here to understand a bigger spur or pinion gear, what does that do? A smaller one, what does that do? Looking at mechanical advantage of how does the resistance include or, or involve there? These are all, again, um, part of the curriculum that teaches students what's going on in a bigger realm of not only just tractors, but a lot of different things in physics and different sciences um, involved as well. Other things that are really fun is again, with the hands-on learning, it allows students to really work with and interact with these tractors. Now, what allows that is if you're doing it individually, if you have students doing in groups of uh, three or four, it allows students to be able to try different things. And one of the great things about the tractor pull challenge here is that it gives students the ability to um, really kind of fail fail often, fail fast, um, and then learn from those failures as well. So being able to have different uh, placements where you can actually put um, the, the weights and, and distri distribute weight across the tractor is very important and have students be able to then test that and look and see, okay, with that, what were the, the what are the data, what's the data telling us? So not just looking at for data sake, but analyzing it and finding out what does that mean um, in this world of tractor pull. And then also working with the tractor to you know look at force and being able to understand friction and, and how that all works and, and different uh, pulling method methodologies. Which one is the best way? What would be the best as you look to do a tractor pull challenge? Um, with all this, kind of the culmination of all this is really that interaction of data collection analysis. So as we talk about this, one of the really cool things of this is allowing students to be able to um, go through and to, to collect that data, find that information, see what the best uh, information is as they get ready for the challenge. So they can put their kind of hard work, um, you know, to practice and see, okay, when they come up and they do the tractor pull, are they, you know, putting their best foot forward, allowing them to do that. Um, so some of the concepts, again, really depend on what you as a instructor want to use them for. But the great things about this is that we have curriculum that includes lessons, that includes PowerPoint slides, that includes activities, data sheets, allowing the students to really learn and understand and get these concepts within there. So we go through all the different STEM concepts as that are, are focused on and used within the tractor pull itself. So this also includes having our pulling sled and being able to um, get students to understand what's happening with not only the tractor, but also with that pulling sled as well. So in a moment here, we're going to have a discussion with Nathan, Nathan Anderson. But before we do that, I want to just start with um, a quick video showing you um, the tractor pull kind of in action, if you want to say, um, and be able to share um, what is kind of it, what it's all about here. So let's watch a, a quick video here. Well, 
way to study Isaac Newton's first three laws of motion. The sled is designed to gradually increase resistance, Can't which allows varying endpoints based on the strength of the oh, pole. Oh, okay. The R well, there you go. Why is it not sharing? There we go. There we go. Yep. So here we go. So let's show a little bit of what you're about to, or what you'll see here um, on the tractor pull challenge. A tractor pull is an excellent way to study Isaac Newton's first three laws of motion. The sled is designed to gradually increase resistance, which allows varying endpoints based on the strength of the pole. The RC Tractor Pull Challenge 5-Pack with Pulling Sled is an excellent tool for helping students understand important STEM concepts, explore tractor systems and structures, and more. Let's take a closer look. Each package includes five remote-controlled tractors with covers and pulling sled, plus washer weights, pinion gears, spur gears, and tires. As students assemble their tractors, they can experiment with variables for different pulling outcomes and begin to understand important STEM concepts like force and motion, friction and gravity. For instance, students can adjust the hitch height to increase traction and reduce friction, then test the results. You know, one of the first things that a lot of times that you'd want to do is um, have the students kind of do what we're doing is take it apart see the different parts pieces of it teach them um, what the different parts of what a gear ratio is what a, what a gear is what is the tires what are the differences on the different um, tractor stuff so they get to understand and, and learn what's going on once you're able to do that then it is kind of that challenge help your students to start thinking about oh if you change this or you change that if you put the weight up front the middle or the back what does that do allow them to try different things themselves because right here we got five different tractors they could all be different and then the fun is experiment get some data have them pull be able to see okay what did i do what did they do what do we need to change what can we do to really be the best um, and learn the different science and, and technology concepts with um, using these tractors the rc tractor pull challenge includes a comprehensive five lesson curriculum Students will learn about the science and mechanics of a tractor pull, including tractor parts, science concepts, and collecting and analyzing the data. The curriculum culminates in a tractor pull challenge that you can facilitate in your classroom. During the challenge, students will compete to pull the most weight, the greatest distance, putting the STEM concepts they have learned into action. Visit realityworks.com today to see more details on the RC Tractor Pull Challenge 5-Pack with Pulling Sled. All right, so with that, um, wanted to just uh, share a little bit more about kind of the whole backstory and the idea of the Tractor Pull Challenge. But at this time, um, I'm really excited to uh, start kind of our conversation now um, with uh, Nathan Anderson. So uh, Nathan, are you there? Yep, I'm here. Awesome. Uh, thank you for taking the time um, and uh, kind of being with us today to walk people through what's really going on and, and um, kind of how you've seen uh, uh, tractor pull in, in your world. So why don't we just start with this question. Uh, just introduce yourself. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, who you are and um, um, what you teach uh, would be a great way just to kind of introduce us. I'm uh, Nathan Anderson. I'm an eighth year egg teacher at Watertown Mayor High School in Watertown, Minnesota, and I teach high school agriculture. All right. Thank you uh, very much, Nathan. And now, can you tell us a little bit about, um, you know, how you've used the RC tractor pull in your classroom? Yeah. So um, I used it in my small engines class and I gave the kids very little guidance on how to do much with the tractors other than you know, how to not break it. Um <laughs> And then I just told them their goal was to create the tractor that can pull the most weight. And that was pretty much the only instruction they got. They got into groups of four or five and they all tinkered with them. And then we did a pull 
and we saw who could pull the most. And then I went over the curriculum that Reality Works already has for the tractors, went over that with them as a class. And they took the information from that curriculum and from the pull that they saw happen, made adjustments to their, their uh, assigned tractors, and then we pulled again. So it was all really hands-on inquiry-based learning for them because they had to figure it all out on their own. So I would say that is pretty interesting in itself, just because, you know, you have to have a little faith in your students to, hey, I'm just going to give it to you and see what happens. Uh, the cool side about that is they can a lot of times uh, surprise you or wow you with some of those kind of things to be able to see, hey, yeah, they do get it or, okay, we need more work in this area or things like that. So uh, kudos to taking that step and, and trusting your students in that, that way. Um, what would you say with the students that you were able to do that with, um, you know, what were some of the wins or the, the aha moments or the things that you saw, uh, with your students, if you can remember kind of what were some of those things that the students came back and said, oh, this is interesting or, or kind of that, that self-learning, I guess, for some of them in that, in that, uh, area. What I thought was really cool with the kids that I was doing it with were kids who, uh, aren't necessarily the, the best participators in other classes. Yep. But then when they were able to to just be working with their hands for the entire block, they were actually interested in what we were doing, asking questions on, hey, what would happen if I, you know, raise the hitch or what would happen if I put the weights here? And they're really interested in what was going on. And my answers were more or less, well, let's try it and figure it out. What's, what's going to happen here? And just to see the, the light bulbs click on in those kids' brains and have them be interested in school was really awesome. Now, what would you say, kind of that same, what what were the the kids were the kids saying about the tractors were um their their interaction maybe with each other um and the tractors was it something where they i mean sometimes you see that and certain students will say i don't know if i want to do this was it more of like they wanted to jump in and keep on learning uh talk a little bit about that well they definitely wanted to, all of them wanted to have their hands on it and do something with it um the groups of four or five was maybe even too many kids per group because they all wanted to be doing something with the tractor at all times they were all very very intrigued by them and then the day the day i got them delivered the kids wanted to get them out and start tinkering with them right away because they just thought they were awesome that's awesome that's great to hear and that's one of those things where again yeah it it is that engagement piece where students come in and and it's it's always funny because they they engage so much and they don't always realize wait i'm learning something at the same time which maybe is the best way to learn um by having that type of experience so uh that's really really good to hear now one of the things that you've used is you use the uh, the case curriculum um and and how would you tie in or how would you say that you've uh used the case aligned content with the the tractors so the uh case technical applications and ag course um, I think they changed the name of it to like egg power or egg equipment maintenance and technology. That course has a lesson built into it using these tractors and it's all on um, wheel slippage. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So you would take the tractor, hook it up to some kind of a trailer. I just use a rubber made, a little rubber made container with a string on it to hook it up to the hitch of the tractor. Fill it with a couple of weights from the, uh, the RC tractor pull sled. And then they have to count how many times the wheel on the tire spins without pulling the weight, and then how many times it spins with pulling the weight. And then the way the curriculum is written, they do that with the, the little tractors, and then we go outside and do it on a large scale too with either a car or a truck hmm. pulling a trailer or a tractor pulling an implement or something. So they get it on the small, you know, classroom size level, then they also get it on the large level as well. So that's kind of the that cool thing too is like you just said is that this allows them to to have that learning in a environment that's if you want to say safe uh, not only you know uh, safe to the students but also safe to uh, the ability to you know to trial and error if you want to say and be able to go back and forth in that world um, it's also one of those things where it allows students to uh, take it you know in the classroom learning to the real world learning. It seems like that's kind of a, a connection piece with this. What would you say are some some places where maybe uh, for students or maybe even for teachers out there, how could this help in that, um, you know, future career ideas, future career exploration, um, something like this have, would you say? I think it'd be a great way to get like some of the younger kids who are thinking they might wanna be gearheads when they grow up, or aren't really sure. Having them work on a small RC tractor like this 
before they would ever touch a real piece of equipment is just a great way to introduce it to them and spark an interest in a career for them. So that's awesome. And that's one of those things where, again, yeah, what we find a lot of times in, in school is just that what you're exposed to helps you make those decisions on what you want to do. And so this is just another way to get exposure to students um, that in ways that maybe they never thought possible. You know, we see that all the time with other products that we have from our welding simulators uh, to our uh, bovine breeding and AI um, artificial insemination uh, um, simulators to um, even this one, just exposing students to different opportunities, learning those skills, getting an understanding of the concepts really does help give them that, oh, maybe this is a place that I would like to look more into in the career, these different options for careers. So um, I think that is is very um, uh, helpful and useful in that world. Just a few more questions here and, and just kind of want to also pick your brain because um, I would say uh, you are a, a superstar amongst the ag world and uh, we thank you for taking this time. Um, just give us kind of, if you would, not just with this product, but as teachers are continuing to try, as we talk about engagement, trying to engage their students, um, what are some ways that you have found as a teacher and in, in, in ag just to help engage your students and get them with where they are today to where you want them to be within agriculture, yeah, just in a general sense. Anything hands-on is great for getting them engaged. They don't really want to learn too much just off of a PowerPoint or off of a book. So, so anything I can do that, that's hands-on is really what helps engage the kids. And that's where I love the Reality Works products because I can do hands-on stuff with the kids where they're learning the concepts that I really want to teach them and they, they get to be active in their learning. And I thank you so much because that's kind of that thing too. You, you said, you know, when you say active in their learning, letting them kind of, you know, kind of like what you started with saying, you know, take the reins in the sense of, I'm not going to give you a lot of instruction. I'm going to say, go out and do this, see what you find out. There is that, that, you know, open possibilities for opportunities for students to learn, to engage, to uh, really take ownership of their learning in that way. So having these types of tools, having these types of products in your classroom can really help that, can allow students to, to take on, um, you know, new engagement, new ways of learning that maybe you didn't have even thought before. But I do think it also helps in uh, man classroom management, allowing students who see this, hey, this is fun. These are things that I want to do. I get to try it myself. That allows them to, again, take that ownership and, and reduce issues that could come in the classroom. So again, um, we really just thank you for having this. Any other thoughts that you have? I, I don't want to close you off here too soon, but any other thoughts you have um, just about, uh, you know, in general, how other teachers, if you were talking to new teachers coming out there, um, how you would say, hey, really uh, look at different ways to, to implement um, and help teach within the classroom. Um, what I always tell the younger teachers is it's, it's best to try and keep your kids as active as possible and they don't got to light the world on fire. Try and get stuff that's already existing. Like when you buy reality works products, a lot of it comes with the curriculum already. Mm -hmm. Utilize that. You don't got to recreate the wheel <laughs> when you're trying to teach. There's stuff out there that you can use in your classroom and it'll help keep kids active. Well, Thank you so much for taking the time uh, to talk to us. And uh, I appreciate all those uh, little tidbits and those those insightful pieces. Um, I, I know it is something that uh, if uh, people have time, go out to your, your TikTok, to your uh, social media pages and watch because uh, it's always great to see what you're doing in the classroom with your students and, and how you are really uh, being an ambassador for ag education. So thank you for your time. Thank you for uh, really um, coming in and, and sharing with how it has helped and how it has worked in your classroom. So um, with that, I just want to give a few reminders. If you are interested, you can go to our website. You can look at our uh, video again and get a free lesson on the tractor pull if that is of interest to you. Um, we also would be happy to help answer any type of questions that you may have um, by getting in touch with us at realityworks.com. You can uh, find a chat area there, or you can also email with any other questions. But with that, thank you so much for taking this time.